demonstration video of simulation of process equipment using Aspen High Seas. Uh, friends, I am Dr. Santosh Walke, and in this video, I am going to demonstrate the design of separation process of mixture of paraffins into light and heavy fractions. So, we are going to see the uh, separation process of the paraffins, five paraffins that we are going to select, and by using distillation column, we are going to separate these paraffins. So, the case is uh, it is required to separate the mixture of five paraffins into light and heavy fractions by using distillation column with 10 trays with full reflux condenser and a kettle broiler. The feed stream consists of uh, the flow rate of 1100 pound mole per hour which consists of 5% this is a mole percent ethane, 24% propane, 32% n-butane, 35% n-pentane and 4% hexane at 220 degree Fahrenheit and 240 psi. This enters in the column on the 6th tray counting from the top. The condenser and reboiler pressure are 240 and 250 psi respectively. The preliminary design specification requires the reflux ratio of 6 and vapor overhead product of 220 pound mole per hour. So we are going to use the distillation column for the separation and we will see what are the results we are getting. Here we are going to do some changes in the number of trays and we will find out what is the effect on the composition on the flow rate and on the temperature with respect to the trays. So let us start the simulation by using Aspen High Seas. So so select the new case. Now we have five components so click on the add in the component list. So first one is ethane. Type ethane then second component is propane then n-butane and pentane and an hexane So you can see five components we have selected ethane, propane, n butane, n pentane, and n hexane fluid package. In this case, we are going to select the SRK as a fluid package and then we'll enter the simulation environment, select the material stream, double click on the material stream, give the name of the stream is feed. The temperature of this feed stream is 220 Fahrenheit the pressure is 240 psi and the molar flow is 1100 pound mole per hour double click on the molar flow now we have to enter the composition for ethane is 0 0.05 propane 0 0.24 and butane 0 0.32 and pentane 0 0.35 and an exam 0.04 so based upon their percentage in the feed, we have entered their mole fraction, click on normalize, click OK, the stream is complete. Now press F12 and you can select the unit operations alphabetically. Now we have to select the distillation column. So here this is the distillation column, click on add. Now you can give the name to this column as distillation column. the inlet stream you have to define the feed by default the number of stages are 10 but our feed enters on 6 number of tray then energy stream for the condenser give the name Q condenser here we are going to select the full reflux condition so overhead product we can give the name as top product then bottom product we can give the name as bottom product and the reboiler energy steam you can give the name as Q reboiler so in this way we have filled the information on the first window now you have to click on the next 
second window is about the reboiler the by default reboiler configuration is a one through reboiler and the selection of the reboiler is regular ICS reboiler so we are not going to change by default we will select the one through reboiler click on the next it will go to the third window now here we have to enter the condenser pressure and condenser and uh, reboiler pressure condenser pressure is 240 psi which is less than the reboiler pressure which is 250 psi then again click on the next it is the fourth window which is of asking about the optional temperature information of the condenser and temperature and if you have any information about the top stretch temperature so we this is the optional information let it be the software will estimate this information and the last window is about the reflux ratio which is 6 and the vapor rate is is 220 pound mole per hour now we have filled all the information up to the fifth window click done now it will go to the main window now we have to run the column click on run okay it is giving warning that column feed stream feed is entering the tower in the below stage pressure okay no issue now our simulation is complete it is converged now we'll see about the worksheet tab and the composition part you can see ethane composition in the top product that is at distillate is 0.24 and 0.74 some part of n butane is also observed in the top product but uh, in the bottom product we can find out the n butane is more and pentane is also more and even uh, n hexane is also there now we'll see about the performance you can click on the performance on the plot and we can see the graph of the temperature with respect to the tray position we have 10 number of trays or stages and this is 11th is about the reboiler 6 number of tray in which the field is entered in the column now we can see this is the feed tray location now we'll also see about the pressure now the pressure you can see on the six number of tray this is the pressure the pressure is increasing with respect to the number of trays as you go to the bottom of the column the pressure is very high and we'll see about the composition you can see the composition this is the plate number or tray number six this is the feed composition and how the composition changes on the top side and the bottom side this part above the feed plate is called as rectification column and rectification part of the column and below the feed plate is called as stripping section or the stripping part of the column now we will do some changes in the trays instead of 10 number of trays or we will keep the 10 number of trays and we will change the field plate location instead of 6 we will feed the feed will enter in the column at second number of tray now let us see ok it is saying it is unconverged now it is converged now you can see the performance we will see the temperature ok the temperature is high as compared to the stage number 1 or from the top of the column then we will see the composition is there any change in the composition ok so this is this is the scenario you can see how the composition is changing with respect to the stage so this will helpful for uh, separating any particular component if you can see if component is the composition is very high you can remove that particular component from that um, that stage so this will be helpful for you to decide take the decision now if you increase the number of trades instead of 20 you can increase to 25 and then you can make the feed at 20 number of trades and then you can click on the run let us see what the what will happen it is solving just fit because sometimes it takes uh, too much time 
right, there are so modeling mathematical modeling equations for solving now still it is solving I think we have enter the feed at very lower part of the column so we can change and we can make it to the 11 number of cell we'll first click on the stop now instead of 20 we can make the field on the 13th stage let us see okay so still it is solving after five minutes also it will take time so in this way you can do some changes in the number of trades and let us find out the interesting results and you can make the